Dr. Ben Bickman. Calorie counting is a worn out approach that leads to failure. But insulin tells the body what to do with energy, not that it's creating it or destroying it without, you know, with want and abandon. No, that energy must be accounted for. It's just that we, we cannot, in, in the average individual, account for all calorie, what it does when we eat it, as well as what's happening when we expend it. A person may change their diet and their metabolic rate changes, that is confirmed. Or alternatively, they're in ketosis, and now they're breathing out ketones and urinating out ketones. Every ketone is a piece of fat that, in this instance, didn't have to be burned as energy going up or exercising. They just simply wasted it from the body. And how is the average person attempting to track those that wasted energy? Ketosis wastes energy, which is a great thing. Ketones are fatty acids which are expelled from the body through sweat or urine without having to be burned. I would say someone who is looking at Keto Connect and wanting to make a diet change, I think there's tremendous value in doing exactly what you said. Don't count your calories, just focus on your macros. That is without a doubt going to bump you down a significant amount of weight. Once you've come to that new plateau, if you're not where you think you should be, then it's perhaps time to start scrutinizing calorie number. But that to me is not the first, that's not the place to start. Because if you start a dietary intervention with hunger, which is what calorie counting is going to lead to, at least initially, you're doomed. Hunger will always win. So become a fat burner, start to rely on your own fat for fuel, and you're going to be less hungry. You'll naturally start controlling your appetite better. We did this study here in my lab in rodents when we artificially inflated insulin uh, elevated insulin metabolic rate was was significantly reduced and then like i said david ludwig did this in 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 humans looked by giving them meals that would spike their insulin or wouldn't and seeing these uh, a change in metabolic rate to the tune of about 300 calories per day and one of the beauties of going on a low carb diet is you got to eat more real food that is a wonderful thing it's also a burden a, a hurdle where you've got to plan and prepare these meals so the, the health code shake um, is really just an effort to make low carb easy. So it's high protein, high fat into one to one ratio. Um, anyone who wants to learn more about it, please go to get health, H L T H dot com. And, and by all means, please use the KC 10 um, coupon code at checkout. I'm also providing blog um, posts there. Um, so people oh. can read up on some interesting science. Like I just published a, uh, a blog post looking at, um, this expression of an enzyme on fat cells that that basically when people adhere to a, a very low calorie diet, the fat cells become 12 times better at pulling in fat to store. So the fat cells become like 12 times hungrier for fat when someone's losing weight through a very low calorie diet. So an insulin, of course, controls that process. Also follow uh, Get Health. Uh, this, and remember, that's H-L-T-H. And that's where we'll announce whenever I do a new blog post. Insulin IQ is a, an online coaching platform that people oh. can check out as well that I helped create. It's a wonderful effort. And we're working with Diet Doctor there. Insulin tells the body what to do with energy. An individual cannot account for all calories they eat. We know that the metabolic rate changes with diet. If in ketosis, every ketone is a piece of fat that is being expelled from the body. Ketosis wastes energy, which is a great thing. Ketones are fatty acids, which are expelled from the body through sweat or urine without having to be burned. Someone wanting to lose weight, don't count calories. Simply focus on your macronutrients. That will bump your weight down significantly. Hitting a plateau, you're still not where you think you should be, then consider more focus on calories. If you start a diet with hunger, and calorie counting always leads to this, you are doomed. Hunger will always win. Become a fat burner. Rely on your own fat for fuel. You'll have less hunger. At his BYU lab, Dr. Bickman ran a study in rodents. In those with elevated insulin, their metabolic rate significantly reduced. In the David Ludwig study in humans, those with spiked insulin, their metabolic rate reduced 
300 calories a day. Dr. Bickman has started a company selling a complete meal protein shake. On a low carb diet, you have to eat real food. The health coach shake makes low carb easy. Go to get health. That's H L T H dot com and use the KC10 discount code. He also has a blog post on this same site. In a recent posting, he writes about the expression of an enzyme on fat cells. On a low-calorie diet, fat cells become 12 times better at pulling in fat for storage. Dr. Bickman also helped found a website called InsulinIQ.com. This is an online coaching platform, and you can access it directly or through Diet Doctor.